If you haven't heard, Adobe joined the Blender Development Fund and they've released two free add-ons. Today we'll be looking at this Mixmo add-on that quickly generates character rigs in Blender. To get started, we're going to need a Mixmo rig on our character, so you can either download one of the preset characters from the Mixmo library, or you can go ahead and upload your own character. It's a pretty simple process. You just click upload, and then what you do is you set these control points here on your character, generate rig, and it'll automatically generate a rig for your character. This really only works for humanoid characters though. Next up, you're going to need to download your character rig, and I'm just going to use this FBX binary format. I know that that is compatible with Blender and works. So here we are in Blender, and of course, first you need to install the add-on, which I will put a link to in the description, but once you have it installed in your viewport here, you press N to reveal your 3D panel over here, and you'll see that now you have a Mixamo panel. So this is very quick, so I'm just gonna show you how to generate the rig quickly, and then we'll go through these other options if you're interested in some of those. So first of all, I downloaded one of the Mixamo characters because I thought they had a pretty cool design and I'm gonna come here to import FBX. I just chose a generic typo, so I'm just gonna zoom in here on our character so that we can see a bit easier there. And what we're gonna do is take a look at our panel over here. So first of all, first thing we need to do is choose the source skeleton. And this will tell it which skeleton to target. And if you have multiple Mixmo characters in your scene, you'll need to pay attention to what they're each named. You can change those names, of course. But here I only have the one, which is armature. So I'm gonna go ahead and click armature. So now that armature is loaded into the Mixmo control rig panel. And we have a couple other options here. So if we had an animation, we could bake that animation and we can also do a GLTF export if we like, but these are the controls we're gonna be focusing on up here. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click create control rig. And then I have several options here. Now, if we downloaded motion capture animation, we could apply the animation or we could set IK arms or IK legs, which I want both of those, so I'm going to leave that on. But before I click okay, what I'm gonna do is click away. And we have this option here to zero out the rig. And what clicking out zero out rig does will delete all of the keyframes on the armature and reset it to its rest pose. And I like to do that so I can kind of start fresh. And then after that, all you have to do is click create control rig and make sure you have the options you want checked on, click okay. And you'll see now that it's generated a character rig for us and we can go ahead and kind of mess with that and see that everything works great. And because I had IK arms checked on, I have those and same with my feet too. And if we hop into our side view here, you can see that we even have a roll for our foot there. So that's a pretty nice feature there of the rig, but it's a pretty great rig. I highly recommend you check out this, especially if you're doing humanoid characters, it can just automatically rig your characters. And you can see there that the deformations are pretty great by default. Of course, you can always go in there and do some corrective weight painting. If you're interested in learning more animation yourself, maybe check out my Skillshare course, which is your first animation in Blender where I walk you through kind of the basics of animation, which might help you get started here. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And as usual, thank you for watching. I always love seeing what you create from these tutorials, so make sure to tag me at Southern Shoddy on Instagram.